Well, the Houston Texans have a nice looking 12 and 3 record, but they've been playing their worst football of the season recently, and that is not good heading into the playoffs. Texans have lost two out of the last three games. Last week, they were almost 10 point favorites, I believe, 9.5 point favorites against Minnesota. They lost 23 to 6 to the Vikings in Houston. So, Definitely disturbing signs for the Houston Texans here lately. They go on the road on Sunday to face the Indianapolis Colts. Houston is installed as a seven-point favorite in this game on BetDAC. The total has not yet been released. These two teams played just two weeks ago. The Texans won 29-17, to but the Colts hung tough. They hung right in there the whole game. Now, this is a big game for the Texans, and, and the main reason the Texans are a full seven-point favorite here, despite the fact that they've lost two of three and the Colts have won eight out of the last ten, is because it's a big game for the Texans and it's totally meaningless for the Colts. Now, the Colts have locked up a playoff spot, but win, lose, or draw on Sunday, they are going to be the five seed in the AFC playoffs. They've locked up one of the two wild card berths, and they're not going to drop below the Bengals no matter what happens with these games on Sunday. So, a meaningless game for the Colts. A lot of times in situations like this, coaches want to rest their key players, make sure they're healthy for the playoffs. Chuck Pagano, Indianapolis coach, will be back on the sideline this week for the first time since he took a leave of absence from the team in September when he was diagnosed with leukemia. We're hearing that Pagano is going to play the starters and try to win the game, and I, I take him on his word. I think the Colts are going to start their starters, and I'm sure if the game's close and competitive throughout, they'll probably leave their starters in. However, if this game gets to the second half, and Houston opens a double-digit lead. I do expect Chuck Pagano to do what is, let's face it, the smart thing and pull guys like Andrew Luck, maybe Reggie Wayne, a couple of those key players on defense. So I, I think that's why we see the Texans as a seven-point favorite here because it's a meaningless game for the Colts, and the Texans need the game. If they win this game, they lock up home field in the AFC playoffs. If they lose this game, Denver will most likely get home field because the Broncos are probably going to beat the Kansas City Chiefs on Sunday, the worst team in the NFL. Houston does not want to have to go to Denver in January and beat this Peyton Manning-led Broncos team. Probably wouldn't happen, even though I know the Texans went out of Denver and won early this season. Those two teams look different, certainly, right now than they did earlier in the year. So, to me, this is desperation time for Houston. If they want to be a legitimate Super Bowl contender, I think they must beat the Indianapolis Colts on Sunday on the road. And you know what? I think they're going to. Because the Colts, and they've been impressive. I mean, the Colts, I've been among the many who have underestimated them all year. Who would have guessed that from being the worst team in the NFL last year, they could be 10-5? and five. So much credit has to go to Andrew Luck. I know Luck, it's sort of popular, it seems, to, to like Robert Griffin III and, and Russell Wilson much better than Luck. And I don't want to take anything away from what those two guys have done. But let me make a case for Andrew Luck here. I mean, I know he's thrown 20 interceptions or something. I know his completion percentage in the low to mid-50s, not great. But this guy has single-handedly done it. What I mean by that, unlike in Washington where they have the best running game in the NFL, I know a lot of that is due to Robert Griffin III, but don't take away from what Alfred Morris has done and the scheme that Mike Shanahan and Kyle Shanahan have in there. We saw when RG3 was out, they still rolled up 38 points with Kurt Cousins as the quarterback. And certainly out in Seattle with Russell Wilson, they have a dominant running game that takes a lot of the pressure off Wilson. Well, the Colts don't run the ball very well, and they're terrible on defense. 26 in the NFL in total defense, 30th against the run. So opponents have been able to push the Indianapolis defense around. They've been able to stop the Colts' running game. It's been Andrew Luck. This guy's carried the team, 7th in the NFL in pass yards per game. He's averaging 262 pass yards per game. He's already broke the NFL single-season record as far as uh, the single-season rookie record for passing yards. I had a little trouble getting that out. He's thrown for more yards than any rookie in NFL history. How about that? The guy's been impressive, no doubt about it. But it is that Colts defense that really is a cause for concern here. Houston, throughout the, throughout the year this year, has had one of the best running games in the NFL. Arian Foster, for the most part. Ben Tate has come back these last few weeks. He was injured for the first part of the season. But last week, the Houston running game was totally stopped. I mean, Tate and Foster combined for 32 yards on 14 carries. I know they've been intentionally easing Arian Foster's workload over these last few weeks. They want to make sure he's fresh for the playoffs. But this is a big game for Houston. Make no mistake about it. We mentioned they need it to lock up home field. I expect Gary Kubiak to ride Arian Foster in this game. And against this bad Colts run defense, like we said, Indianapolis, 30th in the NFL against the run. Houston, I, I think they're going to get that running game back going this week. I look for them to have great success on the ground. 
And let's face it, Indianapolis is not very good defending the pass either. Andre Johnson has proven this year that he's still an elite wide receiver. And so I, I look for the Houston offense to have some success in general in this game. And like I said, don't be surprised if the Texans get a little bit of a lead here, if the Colts pull some starters in the second half, try to keep some guys rested for the playoffs because this game is completely meaningless in terms of the Colts' 2012 season. So all in all, I like Houston here, and I would lay the touchdown. Certainly, I'd like not to. It would be great if this line were six, six and a half. Laying seven on the road, always tough, tough, especially when you're back in a team who's been struggling recently against a team that you know has, has been exceeding expectations all season. We mentioned the Colts 10 and 5, winners of eight out of the last 10. But I do think that's the right play this Sunday, all things considered. I like Houston minus seven.